working on the flap area trailing edge stiffeners. So they've been bent to shape. I'm just cleaning up the edges and I'm going to get the surface ready for a primer. And then after that I'll get the wing on the table so I can start working on that. So I'm just taking this uh, stiffener for the top of the wing and I'm clico it up against the rivet line for the lower spar. And I'm doing that so I can mark this edge. Now this won't be the final distance that I need here, but there's way too much material. And with a three inch squeezer, which is what I have, you know, there's no way to get in that far. So this will be a rough trim. I also made the stiffener a little long on one side. So once I get it all clicoed up in place, I will do a final trim on where the trailing edge ends and I will cut the stiffener and the wing skin at the same time and then take everything apart, deburr it, dimple it and all that good stuff. So right now, mark out where I want to remove some metal. So what I've done, I've taken and put a line a quarter inch from the edge so that I can take this, put it in place, look down through the holes, line up to that line, and uh, I'll clamp initially and then I'll start drilling and clicoing it in place. So now with it all clamped in place and I can see the line down below, I'll just start drilling and clicoing. So after finishing drilling that in place, I deburred it and now I'm going to dimple it. There's a little method to my madness. I haven't done this side yet, but the rear spar is already dimpled. So I kind of want to get this dimpled, clicoed in place where it's sitting exactly where it's going to sit with all the dimples there. And then I will um, drill the other edge. So with the stiffener clicked back in place, I'm setting up a rivet line for the trailing edge of the stiffener. So I've string lined it to each end, and then I'm just going to mark a few places, and then I'll just try make a line down here with a rule. So I clamped my rule in place, and I'll use a rivet fan to find all the holes in between. But at inch and a half spacing, I can go about that far. So I need a few marks along the way to to fill in between. So now with it marked out, I have some match marks down the line there that I can use my rivet fan in between. So this first hole, I know I want the same as here. So I've already marked it out at 3 8 from the edge. And to line up on this flange, so I'm just going to drill that first hole. And now I'll get out the fan. Down here where I've so now I just need to take my fan to inch and a half. Right about there. I like to check it because I don't trust anything. Yep. I'm 
then we'll lay out the holes. So I finished dimpling all those uh, hole locations that I had marked out. So now I'll just start drilling them all. So I started to Clico this edge down. And one thing I noticed is that this edge is curled up a little bit. You can see it there, the gap, or a little bit of gap there. And most likely this is because the angle is not perfect on the, on the piece underneath that I bent. But I can get rid of that by pushing down on this piece when I Clico because the stiffener will uh, hold it in position. So that's what I'm doing where these are a little, a little steep. I'm going to push down, drill the hole, start to get rid of that. And that's a lot, gap's a lot better. I've still got three or four more holes to work on it with. I don't want to just have two or three holes holding it in position. <clears throat> so anyhow, that'll be my game for a little bit. It just has a problem right in this area, not the whole wing. I just finished doing all the clicos for that lower edge. So now I'll pull it all off and deburr and dimple. I finished up with the stiffener. <clears throat> it's been primed and dimpled and it's ready to go in place. Then once it's in place here, it'll be time to rivet. So I started riveting to the spar, and with this profile here, you can't just push the riveter straight on, so i got to slide it down from the end. So I put a little tape on here just so that I can just drag it down and I won't, you know, after going back and forth for all the rivets, mar it all up. Even though that end's polished, it'll still leave marks. Less is better on that, so I just started in the middle, did the ends. Now I'm dividing it up into smaller segments and then I'll work in between them. So last one here, this last little strip's number fours, which challenge my muscles. And let's see here, it's good. So that's it for the top row or the forward row so now I'll start working on the trailing edge row and I'm going to put all the rivets in and then use a backer to rivet against to try to keep this as straight as possible all right so I'm going to rivet this lower <coughs> edge and to do that I put a rivet in every hole and I'm going to use a backer bar so I've got this piece of two inch aluminum I picked the straightest side, I cleaned it up so there's, it's not full of burrs. And I'm going to put it on here and clamp the bejesus out of it. And then I will rivet, um, squeeze the rivets over the top of it. And that should hold it pretty straight. I clamped that edge to the backer about every eight inches and it looks nice and straight 
So I'm going to go ahead and start riveting it. So that's all the rivets I can get with the clamps in the way. So I'm going to take the clamps and the backer bar off and then I will finish up a few of the places like where there's an overlap and it didn't, it's not really pulled down as tight as it was. I'll do them. like that works really well yeah I'm very happy with that and it looks nice and straight so now I'll just get rid of a few of these here that are left and then it'll have a final cut and that'll be it so I've done some layout marks for a final trim for this edge and since this edge we're going to want to run parallel with the flap and the flaps mounted to the spar. I want to measure back from the spar and then come back on here. So I kind of got a square and put an extra foot on it and then I can measure back from there and put my layout line. So I've done that in three places. Now I'm going to transfer the line. Then I'll clamp my guide in place and take the router and trim it all off. now is deburring a little bit, clean up this edge, and that's it for the top stiffener for the flap area. With the wing turned over, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the bottom flap area. So I have my stiffener here already made, and I'm going to trim off some excess metal first. And I have to do that so that I can actually get the squeezer in there to uh, rivet that uh, row of rivets that's on the spar. So I've got my bottom stiffener for the flap area. I've drawn a line in the center of the flange on the inside. And I am now going to put it in place. Line up through the holes where that mark is. And then clamp it in place. Once I have it clamped in place, I'll drill and clico for the uh, back row of rivets. been deburred and dimpled so now I can put it back on and do the holes for the other edge. So I just trimmed the excess metal off of the uh, bottom side of the flap stiffener and that's it for stiffener. So both of them are in. All you do is finish a little cleanup here on the edge and then I'll go on to the ailerons. <laughs> 